Completion program for the 2022 batch aged from one core members have been scheduled to commence in all 37 camps of the scheme nationwide. Registration Wednesday 23rd to Sunday 27th February 2022. Cut-off date Midnight Sunday 27th February 2022. Swearing in ceremony Tuesday 1st March 2022. Closing ceremony Tuesday 15th March 2022. The Director General National Youth Service Corps, Major General Shwahib Ibrahim, management and staff of the scheme heartily congratulates the prospective Corps members, PCMs, for being qualified to be called up for service by the nation. As you step on the threshold to serve our dear fatherland, you are enjoined to be very cautious of your personal security at all times. As you travel to the 37 NYSC orientation camps, any journey that would take you beyond 6 p.m. should be broken. You can take shelter in NYSC orientation camp, police and military formations, board vehicles only from recognized motor parks, avoid lifts from unknown persons and never board vehicles by the roadside. While in camp, please abide by all the rules and regulations guiding the orientation camp and equally ensure a participatory camp life. The management and staff of the scheme wish you a resoundingly successful orientation course and a rewarding service year. Signed, Management. Hello and welcome to today's episode of NYSC Half Hour. I am Inkem Agonwa. We begin today's episode with an interesting conversation with Ambassador Martin Ohomobiai, a graduate of history from the University of Ibadan. After his university education in 1976, he was deployed to Old Sokoto State for his service here. He was posted to Government Secondary School Koko in Biring Kebi, now Kebi State, for his primary assignment. He reflects on the sheer optimism and camaraderie that was pervasive at the time. Interestingly, many of his students during his time at Government Secondary School Koko have gone on to serve the country in many capacities. Two ex-governors and the current governor of the state were former students of Ambassador Martin. In 2012, he was turbaned in an elaborate ceremony in Guando Emirate as the Damage Koko in recognition of his contributions. Needless to say that this is an unprecedented feat for a southerner who may have hitherto had no connection with the North, but for the NYSC. Let us meet him. My name is Martin Ihuigian Uhomwebi. Uh, officially Ambassador Martin Ihuigian Uhomwebi. I graduated from the University of Ibadan. I was in the University of Ibadan from 1973 to 1976 as an, as an undergraduate and graduated in 1976 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History. At age of 21, I got my letter of deployment to Sukutu State in 1976, and I loved it. Unlike most young people at that time, some people went and started looking for excuses not to go to such distant places. I was particularly happy to go to Sukutu because I wanted to be far away from my parents, who had been under my throat all my life and compelled me to graduate at the age that I did of 21. During the community service, I was deployed from Sokoto to Kebi, to a school in, in Kebi region, Emirate then, called Government Secondary School Coco. It was one of the best schools in that part of the north. And it took me eight hours after the camping to go by road from Sokoto to Coco. Eight hours. Today, there's an airport in Brininkebi. And there's a, it will take you less than two hours 
from Brunekebi, from Sokoto to get to Koko, including the road journey, aspect of the journey. But then it was eight hours. But the country was safe. The country was peaceful. And there was great optimism among Nigerians about the state of affairs in our country at that time. Ambassador Martin had a truly impactful NYSC experience. As a teacher in government secondary school, Coco, he poured his heart and soul into his students in order to groom bright minds that will contribute significantly to the development of the country. Ambassador Martin considers himself a key stakeholder in Guando Emirate. I did my youth service in government secondary school, Coco. After my youth service, and I thoroughly enjoyed my one year of service in Sokoto State, uh, in, in uh, Koko. And in the school where I was deployed, there was an Irish principal called David Catherwood, and quite a number of expatriate staff. But where, there were also Nigerians there, and myself and a few others were there. But the students that we produced that year of 1970s turned out to be some of the best we had a, the school had the best outing, and actually one of the best outings in the schools, in schools all over the country at that time, because two of, my pro, of the products of my school at that time became governors in succession of KB State. Uh, His Excellency uh, Adamo Alero, the second student who took over from Adamo Alero was uh, Dakingiri. You have a third governor now since the return to democracy in our country. His Excellency uh, Governor Bagudu. The result of all of that, of my closeness, facilitated by the NYSC, was that years after I left my youth service and I got into the diplomatic service, as permanent secretary, I was turbaned in an elaborate ceremony in 20, 2012 in the Gwando Emirate in Birinkebi. I was turbaned as Dan Majen Koko. And that is the first time, I think, in the history of that region that a Christian, a papal knight, invested with the knighthood of St. Gregory the Great by Pope Francis, would also become turbaned in Kebi as Dan Majen Koko. And me coming from Edo State and becoming a member of the Gwandu Emirate was made possible because of the NYSC. NYSC, I must tell you, is one of the greatest inventions of the Nigerian nation for integrating our diverse peoples and cultures. I don't know in our state edifice any agency or instrument or instrument of government that has such a facility. And God bless General Yakubu Gawan who invented the NYSC, and God bless the successive DGs and staff who have kept the NYSC going in spite of the challenges that that, organ that agency has faced and continues to face. Uh, we will move on from there, and we hope that no government, no sane government, does anything to undermine the facility of the NYSC, because of all the structures that exist in our country for bringing our diverse cultures and peoples together, none has such potency and power and positivity as the NYSC. Uh, apart from carrying the flag of this country with dignity for 30 years in the Foreign Service, I was also privileged to be Under Secretary General of the United Nations and the head of UNAMID, United Nations and African Union Peacekeeping Force in Darfur, Sudan after I retired. So I have traveled quite a bit by virtue of my career and my profession. So I can, what I'm saying, I'm saying with some relative authority that this country 
has so much to get from giving all the support that it can give to the, such a program such as the NYSC. What the NYSC does to you, many of us who served in the NYSC program, and if you able to bring about this alumnus that we're thinking of forming during the last conversational colloquium that we had of having an alumnus, almost running into millions of those who have participated in NYSC, Nigerians, who took the NYSC for what it truly is. The relationships that you build with the nature, with the environment, and the peoples of the different parts of our country that you serve during your youth service, you can't have it anywhere else. And it lasts almost forever. There is hardly any youth copper who served in those places who will forget that experience. There is no other agency of government or institution of Nigeria that provides such a forum. So if you are talking about national integration, if you are talking about nation building, if you are thinking about bringing all the diversities and complexities and complicatedness of Nigeria together in one space, the NYSC is the only institution of government that does that. In fact, the only institution in public life that does that in our country. It is amazing the ripple effect of the NYSC. The impact of Ambassador Martin many years ago in government secondary school Coco has contributed to the molding of leaders. Stories like this are instructive as they truly help to tell the story of the NYSC. We move on to our next story on Musa Matthew, an indigene of Niger State and a graduate of Federal College of Freshwater Fishery, Niger State. In 2016, he was deployed to Emo State for his NYSC service here. During the in-camp CE training, he specialized in Agro Allied and explored it further post-camp. Today, he is the MD CEO of Agro Allied Company in Emo State. And interestingly, he has fully integrated into his community. Let us meet Musa Matthew. <music> Good day viewers at home. My name is Musa Matthew. I'm from Niger State. I graduated from Federal College of Freshwater Fishery Technology, Nibusa, Niger State. Uh, NYC sent me to Imo State for my service year 2016. And after my service, I decided to stay back and I established farm for myself, which I call MD Agro Ally Company. I am the CEO of the company. You are welcome to my company. Uh, this is a MD Agro Ally Company. We have fishery department, we have poultry aspects, and we also have a uh, pigry. This is tilapia pond. This is tilapia. Please, you can feed them. This is tilapia pond here. Yes. Here we have uh, what we call fry. These are fry. These are three days old of age. Here we have post fry. These are post fry. Here. These are table size fish. This spawn. We have about 2,000 pieces here. Table size fish. These are brew stock, parental stock, which the one we use to produce those small, small ones there. We have juvenile here. These are juvenile. We have um, post fingerlings here. Their feed is there. You can see, give them this one. Let them just come out so that they will see them. These are post fingerlings. These are fingerlings. I was introduced to um, Said. That is a skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development. 
and I find it interesting. I decided to stay to see how I can actually make Said actualize for myself because I was just having a dream. If what they are telling us in camp, one can come out and uh, put it in practice. So I decided to like, okay, instead of me going out there looking for a white collar job, I have something that I can do. And after having done that, it works. Today, I can't boast tell you that I have my own company, which I have some few persons working with me. Uh, I never see a reason why I should go back to my state, as long as I can get what I want here in Imo State. To be sincere with you, I never pray to even come to Imo land, I mean uh, Ibo land, East. Uh, even when I was filling my, you know, uh, form did my registration. I never pick Imo State on my own. So, but as God may have it, when I went to print my call up letter, I saw Imo State. I was like, no, 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 my enemy at work. So when I even get here, I was looking for a way to go back because I can't stay here. But it did not work. But with time, I get to know that uh, what I used to hear about them is not like that. So, and today, to be sincere with you, I never pray to on my own that I want to go back. I may not uh, speak for all Igbos, but they are loving people, to be sincere with you. Because since then to now, I never have misunderstanding with any Igbo man. They are loving. There is no body that have a vision that you get to camp. There are a lot of skills you may not go to the part I am. We have a lot of skills that you can pick, you know, within that one year, you can able to become a professional on it. Because we have uh, trainers in the camp. So after introducing the different skills to you, they have what they call post-camp training, which after your camp, you go to them, you know, they give you a professional training. So after then, you can now able to establish yourself. So um, I advise core members that when you come to camp, look very well. You will see something that you can do for yourself. It's never a waste. It's an opportunity. Somebody like me, if not that NYC sent me to, uh, to serve, I wouldn't have known that there is something called SAID. There is something called skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development. But getting there, I see a lot of things, more than 12 different skills, which you can pick the one that suits you, and you can specialize on it. So it's never a waste. I just got married of recent. Um, my plan from beginning was uh, having come to Imo State, and I've seen the kind of people they are as loving people. My plan was to get married to an Igbo lady so that I can be part of them. You know, I will be recognized as an Igbo uh, guy, but uh, God did not allow it to be so. So uh, my wife is actually with me here. I brought her from Kaduna, you know, down to Imo State. And to be sincere with you, we are all happy to be in Imo land. I started working under Mr. Musa 2020. Mr. Musa is a good man and I so much love it the way God brought me to come and work under him. He's like a mentor to me. He inspired me to be a hardworking man for a better future. And uh, I, I so much appreciate him for the courage he has been given to me. And I really appreciate. He's a nice man. I met uh, Musa 2016 when I came back from service. But uh, I have not had in mind working as a fish farmer. But I read fisheries. But due to where Ma uh, Matu Musa is working, I have to be coming there always. So since I have been coming there always, I actually learned something from Musa. He has been a good friend to me and a good leader. He's a leader. Since then, 
me and him have not made, have any issue, even encountering of any money issue or any ordinary issue. So I adore him. If not for NYC, I, I might have ended up looking for a job somewhere, you know, as an employee. But I'm happy that I was opportune, you know, to come for service and able to grab this opportunity. It's a gold mine. So I, I want to thank them, those that are the pioneers, those that are championing the program to make sure that uh, we, the youth, coming up, we learn something and get something to do. I pray that God will continue to give them the wisdom and um, understanding. And people that have not seen that vision, God will also open their eye to see the vision behind this program. Thank you very much, and God will bless NYC. That was super. <laughs> Musa Matthew is self-employed and an employer of labor, thanks to the NYSC program. The opportunities are endless if you apply yourself. As a seven core member, recognize that you have a rare opportunity in the NYSC SAID program to develop skills that would uplift you and the generation after you. We would be right back. On the news today, the Director General urges youth on us our deeds to intensify advocacy for NYSC Trust Fund. The Director General of National Youth Service Corps, Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim, has implored NYSC Presidents, Honours, Awardees and other youth organisations to get more involved in intensifying advocacy for the actualization of the proposed NYSC Trust Fund, which is geared towards addressing youth unemployment in the country. General Shwaibu enjoined them to be steadfast in projecting the positive contributions of the NYSC scheme to national development through narrating their youth service experience which have impacted them and turned around their fortunes. NYSC Museum Monarch commends Director General's initiative. The Emir of Nasarawa in Nasarawa State, His Royal Highness Ibrahim Usman Jibril, has commended the initiative of the NYSC Director General on the establishment of NYSC Museum of National History. He said the museum would serve as good reference on past events of the scheme for future generations. The Emir stated this when he was led on a guided tour of the NYSC Museum at the National Directorate Headquarters in Abuja by the Director General, Major General, Shwaibu Ibrahim. NYSC gets approval for direct satellite broadcasting, internet protocol TV license. The National Broadcasting Commission has granted NYSC operational license to commence direct satellite broadcasting as well as internet protocol television. The NBC Director General, Malam Balarabe Shehu Ilela, while presenting the documents to the NYSC Director General, Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim in Abuja, said the license for the digital satellite broadcast would give more voice to the scheme to tell the NYSC story, its tremendous achievements to the whole world. He said the NYSC, as one of the successful achievements of the Gowon administration, has achieved its purpose of uniting the country in several ways and also contributing immensely to national development. NYSC charges core producing institutions on data credibility. Core producing institutions in the country have been charged to ensure that only credible graduates are mobilized for national service. The NYSC Director General, Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim, stated this in his address at the 2022 Batch A pre-mobilization workshop with the theme Enhancing the Credibility of the Mobilization Process Through Effective Data Control, held in Abuja. Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry flags off digital skills training for core members. The Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in partnership with a German international aid agency, GIZ, has urged core 
call members to combine vocational training with ICT skills in order to make themselves relevant in the business world of the 21st century. The president of the ACCI, Dr. Al Mujtaba Abubakar, stated this during the opening of the professional ICT skills training organized by call members in Abuja. Welcome back and thank you for investing your time with us on today's episode of NYSC Half Hour. This is where we draw the curtain on today's episode. But remember, you could always write to us on the online handles displayed on your screens right now and we would write back. Remember, the safety of core members in our communities is the responsibility of you and I. Until I see you next time, I am Inkem Agoa. Stay safe. You